hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we will be seeing some cloth texturing in substance painter so i'm going to import my model here i'm using this uh, denim pants now when you import uh, cloth or something like this you can face this uh, transparent tissue on your model here so what you can do to fix it you can go to the shaders and uh, in your shader settings you can change your shader to this pbr metal rough with alpha test and now uh, you can see the other side of this model so first we are going to bake some mesh map for this so let's go to texture set settings and uh, click on this bake mesh maps in the resolution and i'm also going to click on this use low poly mesh as high poly mesh and increase the anti-aliasing to 4x4 and click on this bake selected texture so our maps are baked and uh, here as you can see that we have some issue with the AO map so what you can do is uh, you can go to the AO map here and just disable it we won't be using that uh, for texturing So go to layers and delete this empty layer and uh, we will be using some denim materials and some other fabric so we can try this one first this fabric suit vintage and uh, drop it here now as you can see the fibers of this cloth is uh, way too big for this model so you can change the projection to tri planner and uh, you can increase the scale let's take 10 and as you can see some uh, distortion here you won't be seeing this in your models uh, because this one is not uh, properly unwrapped if your model is not properly unwrapped you might see something like this but otherwise it won't be an issue so you can uh, come here and uh, change the color something like this Hold this so you can use all these uh, fabric materials let's try this one and change the projection to tri planner increase the scale so we have all these different uh, materials for the fabric and clothes here and you can also use some of these smart materials in substance painter So let's uh, try to create a jeans so we have to go back to materials and uh, select this fabric denim base drop it here in the layers and let's increase the scale to 5 or maybe 6 now you can change its color but uh, we don't have any parameter here to change the colors so what you can do is that you can add a filter and let's select HSL which is hue saturation and lightness you can increase the saturation of this material make it more blue and you can also change its color from this hue slider like this go back here and uh, let's add a little more scale let's change it to 7 now we need a uh, different material for these uh, buttons and these hooks so i can add a black mask and uh, go to polygon fill and just select my pant and exclude uh, all these other accessories and uh, maybe we can select these hooks
Now let's uh, add a material for these buttons. So for these buttons, what we can do is we can take a new layer and uh, let's change its color for now. Something like this. Increase the metallic and a little roughness. Add a black mask and uh, add a paint. So what you can do is uh, select this polygon fill and uh, select this button. And uh, you can also use this color for these things here. Go back and uh, you can adjust the color and the roughness of this material. Something like this. Now select this denim and uh, duplicate it. And uh, go to this HSL perceptive. And decrease the saturation and uh, increase the lightness a little. And in this black mask you can uh, add a generator. And let's select this curvature. It's going to add uh, a washed off effect on this denim. So you can decrease the balance and increase the blur like this. And if it's too intense then you can decrease the opacity. Like this. And uh, you can add a paint layer here and uh, manually remove some of this paint like this. Change the blending mode of this paint to linear dodge. And add some here. Let's go back to this and change its color a little. Like this. And you can add some stitches around this pocket here. So for that what we can do is we can take a new fill layer and increase its toughness. Change its color to something like this. Place it up here and uh, add a black mask then add a paint. Maybe in brushes we can find some stitch brush. So these are some stitches. I'm going to select this and uh, rotate this by pressing control and middle mouse button. like this so we can place our model like this and then add some stitches with a steady hand like this and you can also turn on geometry if you want uh, the same stitches on this side let's try that so i'm going to run on this geometry like this and uh, keep it in the mirror X and let's add some stitch like this and now we can add some height value so go back here and increase the height to 0.2 and change its color to something like this
and let's go back to this paint and uh, let's add one here make it small and uh, like this and you can also add uh, one line here like this like this and uh, maybe turn down the height a little keep it 0 0.17 so that's how you can add uh, stitches in your pant and you can add uh, some external textures so let's uh, select all these and uh, put it in a group hide this and i'm going to use some external texture so i'm just going to select these uh, diffuse normal and roughness and drop it here in the materials and then define them as texture and uh, to the current session and to use these you just have to take a new fill layer and drop this diffuse in the base color normal to the normal and roughness to roughness and then repeat the same process of scaling like this and uh, change the projection to tri planner something like this and you can uh, use hsl perceptive to change the color of this uh, texture and use all those same method so that's pretty much it so these are the basics of creating a cloth material in substance painter so if you enjoyed this tutorial then drop a like on this video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and thank you for those who took the membership and joined this channel. It helps me sustain this work and grow this channel. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.